New footage of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant has been released by Tokyo Electric Power Company. No steam is seen leaving the number two and number three reactors, which indicates that internal temperatures have dropped below 100 degrees Celsius. New video footage was taken above the number one through number three reactor buildings between Monday and Thursday. A hydrogen explosion collapsed the roof of the number one reactor building, blocking a clear view of its interior. The video footage shows that the number two reactor building suffered no major damage to its pipes and other equipment. In sharp contrast, debris is scattered everywhere within the number three reactor building. TEPCO confirmed that reactors number two and three are not releasing steam as they did in August. Photos of the central control rooms of the number one and number two reactors were also released. The maximum radiation level in the control rooms is 0 0.01 millisievert per hour. In a related development, TEPCO will try to remove more hydrogen from the number one reactor on Sunday. Last month, the utility found that hydrogen had built up inside pipes leading to the number one reactor's containment vessel, and it accounted for 61 to 63 percent of the total gas present. TEPCO spent one hour removing hydrogen on Saturday and injecting nitrogen into the pipes to reduce the risk of an explosion. The company found that the percentage of hydrogen had dropped to nearly zero, but the level later rose back to 3.9 percent. TEPCO believes hydrogen gas that had accumulated in the upper part of the pipes may have shifted location. TEPCO has announced that another worker came into contact with radioactive substances. We tested contamination and found radioactive particles clinging to his chin and neck. The utility says the man was checking a hose connected to a water decontamination unit on Saturday. The worker shows no sign of internal exposure. It's the oldest trick in the book. What book? The distortion of truth by association book. The Fukushima prefectural government has begun conducting thyroid examinations for children in an effort to assess the health impact of the nuclear accident. On Sunday, about 150 children underwent ultrasound examinations at Fukushima Medical University for tumors or other problems. The examinations will cover around 360,000 youths aged 18 or younger as of April 1st. Their health will be monitored throughout their lifetimes. Radioactive iodine released from the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant could accumulate in children's thyroid glands, increasing the possibility of cancer. The examination was fairly quick. That makes me feel relieved. We can't judge children's health just by how they look. I hope the prefecture will continue to conduct the examinations. The prefectural government says it plans to have all the children examined by 2014. After that, it says the children will undergo thyroid checks every two years until they turn 20 and will be examined once every five years after that. Stop being so nervous. Later on, we'll get ice cream.
Happy Sunday, human beings from the planet Earth. Well, I feel like shit, but I wanted to check in. I haven't given you a radiation update recently. Um, this is a little horrifying. You can see we're across the ocean. This is Italy. Um, at first, just light wisps of iodine-131 coming across. But as you watch this play out, you'll see some extremely high levels whisking across. Um, you know, and obviously this has already come across the United States. Still, we've heard nothing from Obama. Everything is fine. Go back to sleep. Now, see, look here. This extremely high levels, iodine-131, sweeping across Europe. This has already passed over the United States and Canada in a zigzag pattern, according to the jet stream. Um, you really got to start changing your diet. Now, I'm going to link you to both this chart and the place that you can get the charts when they come out, you'll see that um, this is just listed. You're going to want to look for the higher kilobytes. You can see I've checked the lower ones. There's no information here. And these are not very consistent. Um, but bookmark this site. Keep informed. And also, I will link you to my website. Uh, one of the pages that I have is dedicated to radiation updates where you can find a lot of information to keep yourself safe. You, you got to start changing your diet. You have to start, start detoxifying. Stay out of the rain and most importantly uh, teach your kids what's going on so they can understand why their diets have to change. Why they can't play in the rain anymore. Uh, don't let your pets out. A lot of things you're going to need to start doing. Um, this is our toxic world. We're not going to escape this but if you don't put an effort into learning how to live within it, then you're going to die. And more importantly, your children are going to be sterilized, and they're going to die. It's as simple as that. Call it fear-mongering, whatever you want. If you're scared right now, you damn well should be. Much love to everybody. I feel like shit. Sorry there haven't been many videos lately, but uh, I'm back to work, plus juggling uh, the radio station, the stuff that I do for freedomslips.com. It's been hectic, um, but I'll, I'll keep you informed. I'll see you soon. Much love.